Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Let's Play of the Colonel's Bequest. When we last left off, um, we were at this room here, the Colonel's room, and he left this wheelchair. So what we're going to do is that we're definitely going to look at it. Hmm, the colonel's wheelchair sits empty in the middle of the room. Wait a minute, this is like part six. Or something, I don't know. I get the numbers mixed up sometimes, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Because what we're going to do is that we're going to exit this room. And we're going to go here. We're going to the bathroom because there's something in this basket. So we're going to we're going to look into basket. A small empty bottle has been thrown into the waste basket. We're going to examine bottle with monocle. You read the small print of the sleeping powder bottle through the monocle. It says, can be fatal if taken in too large a dose. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. That means that the killer, or in which case the culprit, must have used this uh, bottle to, you know. We must head to Fifi's room. We must head to Fifi's room. What reason for it? Well, let's see. You're about to find out. Oh my goodness! What is happening around here? You have discovered poor Fifi and Jeeves lying dead on the floor with their spilled drinks nearby. You don't like the looks of this at all. My goodness. So, what we need to do around here is we need to go and look at... Well, not look at, but technically what we're planning to do is to... Examine the canter, which is the, the bottle of drink, with monocle. I can't believe I'm going to say this. Bending over the, the cog mac decanter, you carefully examine it with the monocle. Yes, here are two clear fingerprints. Interesting. Uh, next up, we got to examine both bodies. So we're going to go over here. And, well, technically not examine. We're going to search. But I don't know if it's the same uh, thing, but, you know. You thoroughly examine Jeeves and Fifi's body, but cannot see how they might have died. You are very puzzled. Uh-oh. I wonder if it has something to do with these, uh, with the bottle in the wastebasket. That could be the reason. That could be the reason. But right now, we need to go ahead and head on downstairs. And what we need to do around here is that we need to go somewhere. I'm supposed to go somewhere. Oh yeah, we're going to the secret passage, so we're going to move closet. We're going to move closet. We're gonna go like right over here, and we're going to look at the holes of the painting. And it's now twelve fifteen a.m. Excuse me. 
Lillian is writing something in her diary, of which we need to take a good look at as soon as possible. Also, if we go to the other side and do the same thing, now the time flies way too quick. 12.30 p.m. Not 12.30 p.m., it's 12.30 a.m. My apologies. Uh, Clarence is writing something on his desk. We don't know what it is. It's not a diary. But it is something. So right now, what we need to do, we need to get out of the secret passage and head to the parlor. Because we need to examine the glass. Since Clarence is writing something upstairs, we're going to head downstairs. Also, I'm going to have to save into Chandelier, just in case. Alright, so here's Polly, and here's the glass that is still there. So we're going to examine the glass. Picking up the glass, you use uh, Wilbert's monocle as a magnifying glass and notice a faint fingerprint. Interesting, interesting. Let's see here. Um, we're also going to give Polly a cracker, which reminds me, i got to see how many crackers we have in our inventory. We only have about three crackers, my goodness. Alright, so let's give Polly, because the last time I put Parrot. Ah, uh, I can't find her. Ah, uh, where's Gloria? <laughs> uh, somebody is looking for Gloria, but can't find her. The question is, is it her brother Rudy, or is it Clarence, the ex? It could be Clarence, the ex. But either way, it looks like things are escalating too quickly. So right now we only have the Colonel, we have Lillian, Seely, uh, Clarence, and Rudy. Still, you know. We need to go to the study. And the reason being is because we need to... Um, hold on. Okay, sorry about that. We need to go to the story, the, not the story, the, the study to look for the cabinet. We need to look into the cabinet because it's like, it's opening. Oh, someone's outside. Wow. So we're going to look into, not look at. Cautiously, you peeked inside the, the open door of the cabinet. Not surprisingly, part of the Colonel's weapons collection is housed, is hoisted or housed in there. Within the cabinet you see an Australian boomerang, a steel cutlass, a malice, and an antique crossbow. But the dagger is missing. The dagger is missing. Which is not good. So, we're heading outside. We're heading outside. And it's now 12.45 a.m., excuse me. And you see, uh, Rudy. Let's see what he's doing. Rudy sits solely on steps outside the colonel's study with old Beauregard accompanying him. We can talk to him. We're going to ask him about, you know... I don't want to talk about nothing right now. I got something, some thinking to do. As you can tell, he's not in the mood. Not one bit at all. Which is unfortunate, because it would have given us a bit of information. So now what we need to do is that we need to go to uh, Seely's shack. Which, if my memory serves correctly, it's got to be this way. I'm not sure. 
Sometimes when it comes to point and click adventure games and all that, I do get lost too easy. Okay, let's go ahead and knock the door. And that is the end of this act. It's pretty short like the last one. But that only means that we're getting closer to the end of the game. What are you doing here, girl? Can't you feel the evil in the air? There's something real bad around here, and I'm staying put in my cabin <laughs> behind locked doors. You get yourself on back to your room, here. Yeah? So she would not let us in because, you know. So that is the end of that, and that is the end of this part of this Let's Play. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, be kind to others, and have a blessful, wonderful day.